With nearly 500 million people around the world and more than 30 million people in the MENA region having one form or other of diabetes, top scientists in the field of genetics attended the sixth edition of the Pan-Arab Human Genetics Conference today to discuss the genetics and environmental factors behind the cause of many deadly diseases. Addressing a huge gathering of eminent researchers and scholars in various fields of medicine, the chairman of the board and the director general of the Dubai Health Authority, His Excellency Hamid Al-Qatami, stated that the Arab world has made considerable progress in human genetics research, especially in studying the relationship between genetic and environmental factors, leading to various deadly infectious diseases. During the conference, scientists highlight, highlighted that people today are witnessing a new era in medical sciences with many advances in genetic studies, and they believe that genomic medicine will soon provide the right tools in transforming the diagnostic fields of various disorders and even cancer. Talking about the increased number, increasing number of type 2 diabetes in the world and how genetic factors have long been known to play an important role in determining a person's risk of type 2 diabetes, scientists stated that finding out the right gene variant will greatly help in choosing the mode of treatment and therapy for various deadly diseases. Through the genetic problems, which to analyze what the disease-related things in United Arab Emirates, and especially with the support of Sheikh Hamdan Award, to support and analyze what is the problem we, we, which we have, especially now the NCDs, non-communicable diseases, which is important, which is the conference highlighted, diabetes, uh, cancer, cardiovascular, so we should know what's the genetic of the diseases which is available in UAE here. We've come a long way in the last few years. We now have, for example, about a hundred parts of the genome that we know are robustly associated with diabetes risk. The challenge is to work out why they're associated with diabetes risk, what are the processes that are perturbed. Uh, that lead to some people having a higher risk of diabetes than others. And we're now making progress at that. Uh, Pharma, I think, is interested in the results of these tests because they're desperate for uh, identifying new molecules that they could use as a target for developing new drugs. And we have quite a lot of interactions now with Pharma uh, to take forward some of these signals, uh, and the biology that we've identified within them, uh, to see whether they'll be suitable uh, for drug development. So clearly that's a very long process. It'll be quite some time before that turns into to new drugs on the market. Uh, but the, the process is well, well underway now. During the three-day medical conference organized by the Center for Arab Genomic Studies, top scientists and researchers from more than 35 countries, including the United States and Australia, will deliver talks with the aim of raising awareness on various diseases and how genetic information can help in fighting them with regards to its nature, symptoms, risk factors, and diagnosis. In addition, more than 450 geneticists and doctors will also present select research papers on various topics including diabetes, obesity, and cancer. You have basically three parts of this of the story. You have the genetic component and the environmental, and then there is a third component, and that's the interaction between them. Uh, we know very, very little about the, this interaction, indeed. So, but by uh, characterizing the genetic component better, we understand more about the, uh, the, the third component, as I said. But we are at a very early stage. We are quite early, in, at an early stage, regarding the genetic component. Uh, as I said, uh, now more people are aware. Uh, about the, the, the risks of diabetes in general. Uh, but uh, the genetic component needs a lot more studies. Uh, and basically all the figures related to diabetes are slated to increase. So uh, that puts more pressure onto us to, uh, to be quicker uh, with our research projects in this, in this context.